It's time for December. Hey fragrance family, I'm David and I'm a fragrance bro. Of course, your best source for everything fragrance related. Today, I wanna make a video on amber and not just any video. I wanna talk about what amber is. And I'm gonna kick off a series of videos that I'm gonna be doing and it's on amber fragrances. Now, I initially wanted to call this series December and air it in December. And I can't take credit for that name. It was Brad BP Wool that came up with that name. But since I'm getting a late start in the middle of the month here in December, I'm gonna start it now, but also continue it into January. And I'm gonna review a lot of different amber fragrances. Now, I'm not huge into amber scents. I like amber as a note, but I don't really love amber fragrances where the predominant note is amber. But many, many people do, and ambers are kind of one of the staple genres of fragrances. If a fragrance house comes out, it's kind of just their thing that they have to do an amber scent eventually. Now, amber has a really rich history. It goes back thousands of years. Um, many people believe that amber is derived from the Arabic word ambar, which means ambergris. And therein lies some of the confusion here between amber and ambergris. A lot of fragrances that are amber scents use ambergris, but not really amber. And what's the difference here? Ambergris is a byproduct of a sperm whale. It's not really known exactly where it comes from, how it's produced, but it's believed that it's coming out of their digestive tract. So that's ambergris, but amber itself is different. Amber is based on fossilized tree resin. Now you may have seen this, especially in the original Jurassic Park movie. That's where I first saw amber. Apparently, sometimes amber can float on the shore like ambergris. So people thought that this was just natural ambergris. Another reason why people get confused with this is that apparently amber was meant to mimic the scent of ambergris, which it doesn't, which we'll get to in a minute. <laughs> amber has been used for jewelry. It's been used to crush up and to melt and become lacquer and oil. They use it as incense, which smells kind of like pine and many, many other things. But of course it's been used in perfumery. Now, because it's fossilized tree resin, you can crush it up and you can make a tincture with it. But really modern amber, the smell that we associate with amber is a mixture of labdanum and vanilla. Now perfumers take amber and they have a really wide interpretation of what they considered amber. You can have one amber from one side, like uh, Tom Ford's Amber Absolute, which is basically just amber, all the way to something that is kind of just vaguely amber-like, maybe like um, O Unknown by Imaginary Authors or Eau de Beau by L'Occitane. Those are considered kind of amber-like, even though there's not really amber in there. Now, if you don't know what amber smells like, amber smells resinous, smells rich and deep. Personally, I think it has almost like a narcotic type of smell and I find it very sexy, especially on ladies. It's very powerful, very potent, and is usually used as a base note in a lot of fragrances. In this series, I'm gonna be talking about amber scents in general and the wide scope of ambers. So I'm gonna be talking about amber scents that are very labdanum heavy. I'm gonna be talking about ambergris type of scents. I'm gonna be talking about uh, very resinous type of scents that maybe go into the incense category. And then I'm also gonna be talking about fragrances that maybe seem kind of amber-like, even though they might not have amber in the notes. Now I have reviews already of some of the best amber scents, I think, out there, like uh, Ombre Nuit by Dior, Ombre Russe by Parfums d'Empire, Amber Absolute by Tom Ford, and I could go on. There are many other amber scents that I have already reviewed, and I'm not gonna go over those, even though those are very iconic. I'm not gonna go over every scent that historically should be here for ambers. I'm just gonna go over kind of just the wide spectrum of amber fragrances. If your favorite is not in here, I apologize. <laughs> and of course, if you have a favorite amber scent, let me know down in the comments, and I'll try to get to that for this series. With that, I'd like to thank my sponsor, Fragrance X. Fragrance X is an online retailer that sells thousands of legitimate fragrances for a discounted price. If you're considering buying a fragrance, definitely check out Fragrance X. I'll have a link down below to them as well as a coupon. Thanks again, guys, for watching. I'll see you next time. I hope you stay tuned for Amber Month, of course. And I'll see you next time. I'm David with Fragrance Bros. Bye.